Salem College began in 1772 as a girls' primary school founded by Moravian settlers who believed in equal education of women and men. The school began offering college degrees in 1890 and eventually became known as Salem Academy and College. Today, Salem College is a liberal arts women's college that still shares a campus with the Salem Academy and is located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. During the first year of orientation, there's a night of ice cream and campus ghost stories at the Maydell, the campus's outdoor amphitheater. Upperclassmen usually come and share their own personal paranormal experiences on campus, while the Marydale has its own stories. The Lady in White is the phantom of a woman in a white dress who can be seen roaming the Maydale Amphitheater before quickly vanishing. She is friendly compared to the sinister spirit that appears as a black orb and is frequently seen under the nearby stone bridge. Cluel Dormitory is said to be haunted by the ghost of a young girl who died when she fell down an old elevator shaft that has since been boarded up. She is sometimes spotted in the hall late at night. Stolen stuffed animals have been found lined up against where the old sealed shaft remains. Things are often mysteriously knocked off desks and moved in students' rooms. A campus rumor suggests that there were more than one death in the elevator shaft before it was boarded up, but that has yet to have been proven. Bramley Building is the site of the college's library and where two girls were killed in an electrocution accident soon after the building was built. The spirits of the girls appear to students screaming in agonizing pain that has been torturing the girls since their deaths. The Fine Arts Center has a phantom pianist who can be heard playing pianos or organs late into the night despite the building being locked and empty. A patron who died in theater too still lingers and haunts the theater to this day, causing playful mischief and spooking the students. A girl hung herself on the top floor of Gramley Dormitory. Students on the second floor report hearing the furniture move in the middle of the night along with sounds of marbles dropping from the floor above them. Supposedly this is the haunting sound of the dresser that the girl moved in the jar of marbles that was knocked over the night she killed herself. Students have also seen a man in black in the basement of the dorm, usually sighted in the community kitchen. Sometimes he appears as a full-bodied apparition, but other times he only appears as ominous black smoke. On November 28, 1873, a 16-year-old Salem Academy boarder from Augusta, Georgia burned to death in the single sister's house. She was practicing piano when an ember from a stove caught her dress on fire, causing her to run through the building. Running only caused the flames to grow before they could be put out. She passed away later that day and students still report seeing a woman in a period dress peering from the windows of single sisters, usually between 2 or 3 in the morning. Is it the girl who died from her horrendous burns or is it one of the restless spirits of those who died in the building when it was usually used as the college's infirmary? The lobby of Babcock Dormitory is a painting of Mary Reynolds, the daughter of tobacco tycoon R.J. Reynolds. The painting's eyes follow students as they walk by. Legend has it that students should not disrespect the painting or fail to greet it or say goodbye. The students who disrespect the painting have had unfortunate events happen to them, such as being expelled, failing a class, or oversleeping and missing a final exam. Let us know in the comments which haunted dorm you would choose to stay in if you had to spend the night on campus. Thanks for watching strangers, I hope your new year is off to a great start. We have some exciting things planned for this year, starting with the video we're going to release on Wednesday. So be on the lookout, and remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, stay strange.